Okay, hello and welcome everyone. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about a monopoly profit maximization problem and the link between price elasticity and demand. So remember, we can define price elasticity of demand as the percentage change in quantity divided by the percentage change in price. And then we can actually write that as dq dp times p over q. We also have a, an expression for our profit maximization condition for our single price monopolist, which is margin revenue is equal to marginal cost, or like if you derive this, you can find margin revenue is equal to price times the quantity one plus one over the elasticity is equal to marginal cost. And notice this top one and the bottom one, they're the same. It's just, are we gonna treat elasticity in absolute value or not? Okay. All right, so here's the problem. Consider a market served by a single firm where the market demand is gonna be Q is equal to 72 minus one third P. If this firm and any potential entrants face costs of 24Q, this is our total cost function, find the single price monopolist profit maximizing output and price. Well, we know our firm wants to produce where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. So total cost C of Q is equal to 24Q. Marginal cost is the first derivative of, of total cost with respect to output. So MC of Q is gonna be 24. All right, where's marginal revenue? Well, I'm gonna solve this for my inverse demand. So I'll, I'm gonna write, rather than having quantity as a function of price, I'm gonna write price as a function of quantity. That's actually kind of familiar because this is the way that we would graph it, right? We typically have price on the vertical, quantity on the horizontal. And if you remember, if we have a linear demand curve, we do, then marginal revenue is gonna have the same intercept, but twice the slope. So I know just staring at this, my marginal revenue has to be 216 minus six Q. Why? Well, revenue is gonna be price times quantity, Price, wait, we solve for that, 216 minus 3Q times quantity, Q. Distributing, we have 216Q minus 3Q squared. Oh, this Q squared is key, that's exactly it. Because now we'll take the derivative of revenue, we'll take dr dQ, that's MR. Derivative with respect to quantity, it's gonna be 216. Derivative with respect to quantity here is gonna be two times three, right? Twice the slope. Here's the slope, here's twice the slope. Why? It's because of that derivative. All right, so marginal revenue has the same vertical intercept and twice the slope. All right, now we can set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost, and we can solve for the optimal quantity, in this case, 32 units. Then we wanna find the associated monopoly's price. Prices come from the demand curve, so you don't plug the margin, you don't plug co the, you, you don't plug the quantity into marginal revenue, you plug the quantity into the demand curve. So 216 minus three times 32, or 120. All right, so then my question, what is the price elasticity of demand here? So I'm gonna approach this a couple different ways. So the first thing, we know marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost, or we have this expression, price times the quantity one plus one over elasticity. We know the price was 120. We know the marginal cost was 24. That was, I mean, that was like from here, right? And then we can solve for the elasticity. All right, so this, is equal to 0.2 or this is equal to minus 0.8 or I'm just solving minus look at this one over minus 0.8 that's horrible let's write this as a fraction we don't like having fractions with decimals in them do we anyway we're going to have 10 over 8 or we're going to have minus 5 fourths is equal to epsilon it's our elasticity so the price elasticity of demand at the monopoly's profit maximizing price and quantity is going to be 5 fourths or minus 5 fourths Let's check this using our elasticity formula. Remember from our elasticity formula, it looks like four things, it's actually three things. We have a slope, we have a price, we have a quantity. Where's the slope? That's dq dp, so we can go get that. Uh, dq dp is gonna be minus one third. We had our price, that was 120, we had our quantity, that was 32. Oh, sorry, I had this right here. <laughs> All right, so we have, a, I got that right there too. All right. Um, and then the one thing I don't have is I didn't have this on the screen. Cool. So we're gonna have actually one minus one third times 120 divided by 32, or we're gonna have minus 40 over 32, or we're gonna have minus five fourths. It's the same. Right, so we have two ways to find the price elasticity of demand at our monopoly's profit maximizing price. We could use this expression, or we could use our elasticity expression. The other thing, of course, like given the elasticity, you could use this to back out such things as the price or the marginal cost. All right, 
Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe. Have a good night, everyone.